So today we are going to take a lesson on the cultural differences between American and British English. Are you ready for that? Okay, so my name is Mark, I'm an English teacher. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to click the click button not to miss my classes. Alright? So you know that British English and American English uh, differ and are different greatly. So Americans would say apartment, British would say a flat. Americans would say a movie theater and British would say cinema. Americans uh, would say uh, candy and British would say sweet. But today we are going to talk about the cultural differences, okay? Yahoo! So look at the uh, board and here we have the same word like chips, okay? So chips, like in British English, chips are something like french fries, okay? For french fries, so some potatoes. Let's write it down. French fries. Some potatoes, some uh, fried potatoes, French fries. And um, in American English, in America, they say for chips, they mean something that is crunchy or mainly chip, uh, crisps, okay? So chips means, mean crisps, something that is crunchy. Did you understand that? I hope so. Are you ready for the next one? Yahoo! Are you having fun? Okay, that's good. So look at the board. And here we have such an unbelievable thing. First floor here and the first floor here in American English. When you look at this picture, at this image, at this drawing, so you can see a person on the first floor. So here he is, uh, he lives on the first floor. Maybe he or she doesn't, I don't know. A lot of hair, yeah? Okay, and uh, here on the other picture, you can see the person on the second floor and Logically, it should be like that we have to say that he lives on the second floor, but actually when we are in Britain, we have to say that he lives on the on the first floor. It's uh, like a blow up. It's unbelievable, guys. I don't know what is happening. Okay, so British English. So here is the ground floor. Okay, so the ground floor is the first floor in Great Britain. And the second floor is the first floor in the UK. Okay? So the ground floor, the first floor, and the second floor. But in America, the first floor, the second floor, the third floor. So it's logical. So Americans are more logical than British. Yahoo! So what's the difference between football in the UK and football in the United States? So look at the board. Just football is played with such a ball, okay? So in the United States, this kind of football will be called soccer. Just, just soccer. Can you imagine this? So football, European football or British football is soccer in the United States. And it is played by legs, by feet, okay? You kick that ball and you score the goal. So this is a football in the UK. And here we can face a football, a quite different football. And you usually keep this ball, such a kind of ball. So it's quite different from this ball, you see. And we hold it in the hands. And this kind of football is very rough. Yeah, you have to fight, you have to push each other to score a goal. So that's the main difference between soccer and American football. Did, do you feel the difference? Yahoo! So what's the difference between the public school in the UK and the public school in the United States? 
So, the public schools in the UK are very, very expensive and only intelligent students go to these schools. You have to pay a lot of money and these schools are boarding schools. Not everyone can be a part of this school and you have to study hard to belong to this kind of society, alright? You are the upper class of the society when you study at a public school. Really the salt of the society, okay? But in American English, in the United States, a public school uh, means like a secondary school where some, like, not really good students study. They are really free of charge. You don't have to pay. Yeah, yeah. You you can wear casual clothes. You can say whatever you want to a teacher. Hey, what's up? Okay, so let's move on to the final word. And the final word is uh, rubber. So in British English, in the UK, a rubber means an eraser. You know what erase means? Erase means to remove something from the word. So this is an eraser. Uh, like a, from the pencil, you remove something that you write down the, 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 by the pencil and then you remove. So rubber is an eraser. So it's in the UK, but you know, in American English, I have to be really polite to say that a rubber means, um, okay, so those children who are under 18, go away from the screen, shut your ears, close your eyes, close your nose, I don't know. So, are you ready? So rubber in American English is a condom! Okay, a condom is a rubber. Let's write it now. Okay, I hope you... I don't need to explain to you what a condom is. Okay, so... So do you like more American English or British English? Please comment a comment below, subscribe to my channel, like my video, press the bell button not to miss my classes. Yahoo!